All right, guys. So I'm logged into my Google account, and I want to go ahead and start from slides. Okay, so remember those squares that are grouped together? Okay, you click on that once. Um, slide should be a yellow icon, okay, like here that I have hovering over that. And if I click on that, it's going to launch uh, Google Slides, okay? So it may just take a second here. Okay, I want to go ahead and start a new presentation. So I click on the plus sign. Okay, this is not titled, so I want to actually give it a name. And I'm going to call it My Bouncing Ball Animation. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my title here, My Bouncing Ball Animation. Okay, and who's it by? By Miss Miller. Okay. All right, so there's my slide that's added, okay? This is my, okay, basically your intro slide. I'm gonna go ahead and click on here and I'm gonna add another slide, okay? I don't need this, okay? So, all right, see, that's two different slides or frames here, okay? All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna call it frames, okay? So I'm on frame two. I know that because I've got the blue little border on it. I'm going to hover. I'm going to get these four arrows. I'm going to click on this. I want to hit the delete key. I want to remove that. Go to the next one, hit the delete key, and I have a empty slide. Okay. Another way, if you want to do it, you could just go up here, go to the plus line and just hit blank slide too. If you ever want to delete a slide and you didn't mean to have it here, click on that slide, get the blue box around it, hit the delete key and it's gone. Okay. Let's talk about creating a background. You want to actually create a horizon line okay and we know horizon line is the line where the land and the sky meets okay so to do that um google slides has the shapes option right here so i can click and hover go to shapes i click and drag with my mouse look at that all right and then i have that okay i don't like the gray color so i'm going to come up here i want to fill it it's like a paint bucket and i'm going to fill it with a green let's make it look like grass Okay. If you want to get fancy and you want to actually add a sky, you could do the same thing and make it blue and that's fine. Okay. Let's move on to creating my actual ball. Okay. So I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to go for my circle here. I'm going to click and drag outside of the frame. Okay. So there's my ball. I want to change the color of it. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to go back to my fill color and I want to make it red. Okay, so it really stands out really nicely. You can adjust by pulling the corners to change the size of it, and I'm happy with that. Okay, so this is frame. This is my first frame. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to actually duplicate this frame. I want the same frame over again. Okay, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit. I want to actually copy. So I went to edit, copy. Click off of it so you don't have the blue box on it. Go to edit, paste. I have the exact same frame. So when I click back and forth, it's the same. I know it's the same because nothing's changing. Going down to my last frame, I need to move the ball. I'm going to click and drag and move it over. Okay, so now it's in a different spot. Now I'm going to go back between frame two and three. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's moving. Okay, all right. So Always make sure you're going to want to change the last frame or slide that you're on. And so I'm on three. I'm going to go to edit, copy, click off of it, edit, paste. I have the same. And if I click between the two of them, look at that. Nothing's happening. If I go to frame four, that's my last frame. And then I move it. Okay. When a ball moves in space in real life, it's going to create what we call an arc. Okay. So it's going to curve up and over just like when you kick a kickball. Look at that. So it's starting to look like it's moving. And the more frames you add, the smoother the actual motion will look visually. Okay. So it looks more like it's really moving in space. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to copy, click off of it, edit and paste. Okay. And then I'm going to move it a little bit. Okay. All right. And that's starting with your animation. Now we want to make sure you this should automatically 
save, okay? Because as you're working on this, um, you're actually, um, it should automatically save to your drive, okay? It says all changes saved in drive, okay? So make sure it says that here in the top, okay? And that's it for the first part of the tutorial.